Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a bug converter with Simulink. The bug converter regulates a DC output voltage at a level lower than the source voltage. For it, we need first a DC voltage source. For example, 20 volts. Then, we need an ideal switch with a pulse generator for controlling the switch. We can say the frequency will be 20,000 Hz and the duty cycle will be 50%. After, we need a diode We can remove the diode losses Now, I will add an inductor, a capacitor and a resistor So first, we have the inductor, which is used for reducing the ripple in the output current then we have the capacitor. So this component is used for reducing the ripple in the output voltage. And after we have the resistor, which is the load. I will also add two current measurements. one for the inductor and one for the diode I will also use a voltage measurement for the output voltage the scope for displaying every signals and you also need the power GUI block for solving the circuit. So now we can connect the component together. The output voltage is at the terminals of the resistor. And we will show the signals to the scope. So we have to change the number of input by 4. 1 for the pulses, 1 for the current through the inductor, 1 for the current through the diode, and 1 for the output voltage. I will show you first the continuous mode and then the discontinuous mode. For the first mode, the current through the inductor is always greater than zero. So I will choose for the inductor this value and for the capacitor, I will use, for example, 10 E minus six. We can run the circuit and display the several signals. For having a better view, we can separate the several signals in four and we can zoom in. Okay, so when the interrupter is on, so during that time, the DC source voltage is connected to the circuit and the current which passes through the inductor rises up. The current through the diode is zero. When the interrupter is off, so during this time, the DC source voltage is disconnected and the energy stored in the inductor flows through the diode. In this mode, the output voltage is equal 
to the input voltage multiplied by the duty cycle D. If now we reduce the value of the capacitor, we can see here the output voltage contains more ripple. Now, if we reduce the inductor value, the current through the inductor will reach zero before the end of the period. That is how we can have the discontinuous mode. For example, I will choose 10E-6 for the inductor and I will increase the capacitor value for keeping the reduction of the ripple. For example, 10E-4. As we can see here, when the interrupter is on, the current through the inductor will rise up, and when the interrupter is off, the current will decrease and it will reach zero before the end of the period. In this case, the output voltage is equal to the input voltage multiplied by the duty cycle and divided by the duty cycle plus the time the current needs for reaching zero, so this time. So now you know how to create a buck converter with Simulink.